Hello. Hi there. How's it going? Um, so I was just having, I was thinking this morning about uh, something that is said to me kind of frequently because I work from home. Um, you know, I do the marketing for my family's construction company, Butcher and Butcher Construction. I've been doing that for the past 12 years and I do that from home and it's anywhere from like 10 to 20 hours a week depending on what we have going on and what kind of advertising we're doing and things like that. Um, and then I do Arbonne also, and that takes me, you know, depending on what I have going on, 10, maybe 15 hours a week. And then we have our little Sweetwater Threads t-shirt and sticker business too that we started years ago because we have always had this entrepreneurial spirit. Um, so I do that still a little bit too, although it's kind of winding down, but everyone's always like, oh my gosh, uh, do you have a nanny? Do you have, you know, is Dexter in daycare? What do you do? How do you work from home? How do you do that? Like, how do you get your work done and also have your kids at home? And I'm like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes it's really hard and sometimes I feel really overwhelmed and I'm trying to work um, and Dexter's crawling in my lap and banging on the computer and the kids are like breaking shit <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. Um, and like everything seems like so hectic and like my house is just running amok, but I'm like, oh, I have a deadline for this or I have to get this done or I need, you know, to do A, B and C. And so, yeah, it's like super hard and super distracting to work from home and have my kids here with me and, you know, not have a nanny or not have help. But then, um, you know, I'm thinking about what the alternative is and I'm like, I don't think I would have it any other way. And actually I feel lucky because if I didn't work from home, I don't know how I would manage. Like how, how do you do it? Women who work, you know, outside of the home, like you work a 40 hour a week job, you wake up in the morning and you like have to get dressed and look nice and do your hair and put on professional looking clothes and get all your kids ready for the day. Take them to school, go work all day, um, pick them up, you know, either after school or from whatever aftercare they have and then get home at like five or five thirty or six. And how do you make a good dinner for your family. When do you work out? When is there time to hang out with your kids before you have to go do all that again? Like I know that I absolutely, <clears throat> without a doubt, could not do that. Ooh, I just hit myself in the face. I could not do that. I would. I. I mean, things would suffer. I would not. And I know that some women do this and they do it well successfully. Um, I, but I know that like I definitely wouldn't be getting my workouts in, and I wouldn't be cooking the kind of food that I like to cook for my family every single night. And I wouldn't be able to stick around my son's classroom a little longer to watch him do a show and tell in the morning. And I probably wouldn't be able to go in and read to them, you know, when they're the star of the week. And maybe I wouldn't be able to go to Oriana and do my grocery shopping at 930 in the morning when it's not so busy and I can kind of take my time and I wouldn't be able to lay down with Nikki on Tuesdays and Thursdays and nap with him uh, the two days a week that he is home from preschool. And how long am I going to be able to nap with my little sweet, almost five-year-old? I mean, next year is kindergarten and he's going to school every single day and he's never coming back. And I really thought about putting Nikki in five days a week after Christmas because I'm like, my Arbonne business is blowing up. I'm so busy with B&B. Like I need... I can't have them home. I, I need to work. I need more time. But then I thought, no, I don't, you know, I'll make the time for him. And I'm so thankful that I have that option. I'm thankful for my job at BNB and that I'm able to do it from home on my own terms. And I'm so thankful for this Arbonne business that lets me work when I want to so that I can go read to my kids in their classroom when they want to, when, when I want to, that I can work out in the afternoon when Dexter's napping. If I want to, um, I can keep my house clean and like make good food. I can do all of this stuff because I'm able to schedule my day the way that I want it um, and still work and like build a successful business and contribute to my family financially in a significant way, which is amazing. Like that's the whole point, right? But I'm just so grateful that I'm also able to do all of those other things that, um, you know, you're only able to do as a stay at home mom, you know, nap with your kids, read them to sleep in the afternoon and, you know, go on a coffee date with a girlfriend if you have time or whatever that may be. So yeah, working from home is hard for sure. It's hard, but I choose this a million times over what the alternative is because I don't think I would even be able to do it. Um, 
And I love that with this business, um, with my Arbonne business that I'm building, I can help anybody else do the same thing. So if you don't want to go to work every day from nine to five, but you do want, need to still contribute to your family's financial situation, I can teach you how to do that. I can, whatever your income is that you're making right now through your corporate job, through your teaching job, through your medical job, through whatever it may be, I can teach you how to match that. Like literally, if you're a lawyer, I can help you match your lawyer income. Like there's, that's the thing about this business too. There is no limit to the income you can produce with this company and it's all you get out what you put into it. So you can build like an amazing, very lucrative business in part-time hours over the course of a few years that will match whatever it is that you're doing right now. And what comes along with that? Time freedom. Working out in the afternoon if you want to. Laying down to take a nap with your four-year-old in the afternoon if you want to. Going to your kid's class and reading to him you know, at 10 o'clock when it's time because he's the star of the week if you want to. You can do all of those things. So don't just think because, you know, this is your job. This is your uh, situation. This is what I need to do to make this amount of money. It comes with, you know, these time constraints and, the, and this daily grind. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. I can help you do it differently. And, um, yeah, it is kind of tricky to get it done with your kids around, but it's so worth it. And um, I'd love to show you how. So if you're interested um, or if any of this is just piqued your interest at all and you just want to take a look, you can do that too. Like we can just chat about it and I can explain to you what goes into building this business and you can decide if it's something you want to do or not. All right. Thanks so much for listening and I hope you have an awesome day. What is it today? Wednesday. Okay. Bye. See you later.